Hey, in this video, I'm going to show you how to easily convert a Google PDF or sorry, any PDF into another language using Google Translate. So let's say you have a student that wants to use a, uh, you have a Canvas query or Canvas test, right? So what I'm going to do from in here, I'm going to click print blank quiz, medium size fine. Once that loads, my destination, I'm just going to print as a PDF, so that's going to let me save it. Um, and then I'll click save, title it, whatever. It'll default with the quiz name. And you can see I've already saved this a few times. This is my third take on the video. Um, from there, what I'm going to do is just go to translate.google.com. I'm going to select documents. I'm going to find the quiz. And so I'm going to select the quiz that I just downloaded. Uh, you do have to make sure Google does put a limit of 10 megabytes on there. This is a six question quiz with multiple images. I've done tests or quizzes that were 35 questions with images and they've still been under 10 megabytes. So it should be okay, um, depending on the length of your test. Um, so then what I'm going to do, I'm going to translate this one into Portuguese. I'm going to click translate. The other thing to know, it can convert any PDF as long as like text is like highlightable. The way that Google Translate works is it has to be able to detect the text. If it sees something as like an image and there's text in there, it doesn't it doesn't know that it's text and it won't translate it. Um, so now it's done. I'm going to click download transition or translation. And there you can see. So, right, it's probably not perfect. Sometimes the text gets a little bit wonky, but anything that it knew was text, it translated. You can see here it says difference between. This was an image. It doesn't know that that's text, and so it doesn't translate it. Um, but overall, it does do very, very well, and it's a great extra resource for our multilingual learners. Um, I am going to show in another video. This is nice because it's super quick, right? Like once you have this down, it takes you like 30 seconds to translate something for a student. I will do another video using Canva. Canva is more versatile, uh, but it's a little bit more work. So it will let you fix things like small text or if text ends up in a weird place. Um, but it's also a little bit more complex. So Google Translate is great, super quick, super easy.